Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to properly record uh, discounts for customers uh, when you invoice them or even when you do it on a sales receipt. My name is Matt Holquist. I'm with the QuickBooks University and uh, let's get started. All right. So oftentimes uh, you may have a customer that you're going to invoice or do a sales receipt or whatever the case may be, and you want to give them a discount. It could be a courtesy discount. It could be uh, just a, you know, a friends and family discount. It could be any kind of discount you can think of. And there's a way that uh, a proper way to record it in QuickBooks. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to our list menu. Okay. And we're going to choose item list. All right, so in this sample company file, you'll see we've got a 10% discount here already, but we're gonna create a new one so I can show you on an invoice what it looks like. All right, so if I go to item and I click on new, all right, so you'll see here the type of item that you can choose. You got service, inventory, etc. There's gonna be an option here that says discount. All right, so we choose discount and we have to name it. So let's say that we have a you know, a special program for friends and family or uh, referral, okay? Let, let's call it a referral discount, okay? And these discounts can literally be anything, all right? So the description here that we're gonna enter, we're gonna say uh, referral discount program, okay? So the amount, okay, so you can do an amount or a percent. All right, so if this is going to be a random amount, so this amount could be some kind of discount that you give, you know, and it, it could be $20 one time, $100, $500, whatever it is, just leave it blank, leave it zero. And then on the face of the invoice, when you choose the item, you can change it. Uh, and uh, or if this is a let's say that this is a friends and family 10% discount. OK, we're going to say 10%. All right, and the account, okay, this is this is a pretty important part. Now, what some businesses will do is they will put this directly against the income that you're selling, okay? So what that means is that it's gonna get, like if I choose design income, it's going to go into this account and it's gonna reduce the amount of my revenue. So it just washes within this design income account. Now, what I always recommend is to show it as a separate line item. And you'll see here they have an account set up that says less discounts given. The reason I like to do that is because I like to see the total revenue and then I like to see the total discounts that have been given. Okay, and this way, when I'm looking at my profit and loss statement and my financial statements, I can see those separate line items. Uh, because if, you know, we're giving way too many discounts or, you know, whatever the case may be, that way I can see them separated out on the face of the profit and loss. And I don't have to go digging into a separate account to see how many discounts. So I personally recommend that you put them as a separate account. All right. And again, if you need to create an account to show discounts given, of course, you can go up and add new. Okay, so let's do that real quick. We're going to show this is a, a income as type, and we're going to call this a uh, referral discount. Okay, and and I'm doing this because I want to track these referral discounts. Okay, so now I'm going to make this a sub account of let's say that it's construction income. All right, and since we are numbering these, I'm going to say that this is forty two hundred right after less discounts given. All right, so let's see, 4,200, okay? All right, so there it's gonna go to that account and tax code tax discount is applied before sales tax. All right, so let's hit okay. All right, so now you'll see that we have this referral discount right here. All right, so now we're gonna go to a uh, create an invoice, okay? And again, this could be a sales receipt, it could be anything. All right, well, let me do that again here, create invoices. All right, so let's pick a customer. We're gonna, you know, go ahead and pick Larson's Pet Shop, okay? And I'm gonna choose the class, if you have classes set up, and we're gonna go ahead and choose, uh, let's say, uh, blueprints, okay? So let's say they got 
one blueprint and it was a thousand dollars okay non-taxable and then i'm going to go over here and i'm going to choose my discount all right so if i scroll down here uh, let's see referral discount okay so you see here it comes up it says referral discount program minus 10 percent and it calculates automatically based on the thousand dollars all right so let's say now that uh, I'm going to delete this line. Okay. So let's say we have multiple items just to show you an example. We'll say floor plans. Okay. We're going to say one and we're going to say that this is $400. So now we have $1,400. Okay. What you can do here is put in a subtotal. This way it makes it a little bit easier for the customer to, to uh, read. Okay, so subtotal is going to be $1,400, and then we can put in a discount down here. Let's choose our referral discount, and you'll see it's going to calculate it based on the subtotal. Okay, so this makes it a little bit easier for the customer to read, uh, and, you know, they're going to see the subtotal, they're going to see the discount calculated, and it cuts down on, on customer questions down the road. All right, so that's it, and when we go ahead and record this, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and close. All right, and if, just to show you what this does on a profit and loss statement, if I go to my reports, company and financial profit and loss standard, okay, we're going to see the referral discount right here, 140, okay? So we've got our income that came in for uh, that $1,400 invoice, and then we show the referral discount, $140. And that way we can track this, and we can see, okay, how much in referral discounts are we giving? If this is like a, a limited time program, or you know, maybe it's an ongoing program, and you can see how much you're you know, essentially discounting your invoices. All right, hope this helped. Uh, if you uh, would like to leave a comment, feel free below. Uh, any questions on this and also head on over to the QuickBooks University. Of course, we've got the full training over there on QuickBooks. And when you do become a member, which means you purchase the training tutorials, I answer all of your personal QuickBooks questions. All right. So head on over there now, qbuniversity.org.